Hi everybody. In today's short video I'm going to show you how to add two shirts by layering the clothing. And before I get started I just want to say a quick thank you to Mike Kelly and also Tim. I don't know him but I do know Mike Kelly. for They both answered the question when I asked this the other day. And it's probably been answered before but I had just forgot how to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and undress my character real quick. I'll just take off the t-shirt and I'll take off the I'll leave the two-tone gray gray on it's just one of the punk shirts let me go to my clothing and it's just this shirt right here and I put a gray shirt on it and change the bump map a little bit and let's say you want to add a t-shirt so you come over here to your plane base and you click on shirts let's see shirts and I add a t-shirt. You see what happens if you fit body shape default is what I always pick and you'll see the shirts that replaced it because you have the shirt you know it was already uh, they're both on layer 10 is what I now know so what you have to do is go to your t-shirt click on conform click on down here which they hide this button to me this button should be visible or somewhere I didn't know this button was here for four years so maybe other people don't know this buttons here but click on cloth layer settings click this little gear shift and I just changed this to about six because I want it to be above the jeans but below the normal shirt so we'll just say okay and I'll go ahead and say run collision but there's nothing really to collide Okay, so we'll close that. And now if I come back over here and I want to add my punk shirt again, you'll see now it goes over it. And you still may have to adjust the layers a little bit. So I had to do a little bit of conform. You know, I had to make the, I think I had to do this up a little bit. and About three, maybe one more. Something like that. A little more. But... But anyway, that's the idea. I just wanted to show you really quickly, and I'll go back to my, I'll go back to this shirt because I've got a custom one of it that I like better than this one anyway. So we'll get rid of that and that, and I'll just show you if I put this one on him first, and now if I put this one on him because of the layers are already saved, it goes right underneath, and I think that looks a little better. And I, the only other thing I did, I just learned how to take a the bump map that comes with, you know, whenever you uh, add a shirt, the bump map will get applied. So I just click the launch button here. And from here, I use this, this is paint.net. You can use whatever graphics program you always, you have your preference if you're rich and you use Photoshop. I don't know how to do that. But all you do is click on surface blur in paint.net. And this is a way to kind of iron your clothes or I don't take it down too much. I mean, um, don't increase this too much, but by setting these thresholds a little higher in the radius, it'll just kind of blur the bump map a little bit. And it'll, it's kind of like ironing your clothes or steaming them a little bit. So if you change bump maps, I didn't save that. Let me, sorry. Let me just, well, we'll increase. I don't want to go too much because it kind of, uh, it'll like, flatten out your image completely but if I just I'll temporarily I'll call this punk shirt too okay so now if I change this to punk shirt too and I'll make it a bump map or actually I did normal map was the one I ended up liking better I think but whichever one you want you can play around with that but that was my short video I just wanted to show you how to add two shirts because I learned how to do that recently and I think that looks a lot better you know, just having an undershirt on something like that so you're not exposing your chest to the world. All right, well, have a great day or morning or whatever it is for you. All right, later.